What's up gamers, it's time for the Sandbox News. This week the new high quality reflections were added for the water. There's construct updates, flat grass updates, two new game modes, unicycle frenzy, and a voxel test game. We also have improved self-illuminated materials and an updated bevel tool for hammer. This is insane. Let's start with the new high quality reflections. The fancy reflections for the water is in the game now. It looks insane. It's so realistic. Here we can see the environment being reflected in real time. There's the environment and there's a reflection. The weird flickering of the water has mostly been fixed. There are still a few strange malfunctions. Like right here I'm getting a interesting ladder reflection, which shouldn't be here. And my fizz gun beam, it doesn't reflect properly if I'm pointing it at the water. It's very strange. I'm sure we'll see that improved in the future. Construct has been updated. We got these new rocks. It's very interesting. And this dock area has gotten some upgraded details. There's more rocks over here too. However, I have some very interesting news about this. This is actually not made in Hammer, the level editor. It's actually made in Blender from what I can tell and imported into Hammer. I think it's a very interesting choice to do that. I think it would make a little bit more sense to flesh out the level editor, but oh well. I'm sure we'll see improvements to Hammer in the future. There's actually one major improvement added this week, which we'll see later in the video. Also, Construct has gotten the new water. It's very interesting. It looks like oil or something. Huh. This is very unique. It's quite the work of art. Very interesting. Hmm. Construct has also gotten this billboard. It's insane. Just imagine the possibilities of a billboard in Construct. Wow. Maybe they'll do in-game sponsor integrations. We'll see Raid Shadow Legends on the billboard. Flatgrass has also been updated. The exterior looks exactly the same, but if we go inside, it looks completely different. We have a lowered parking area for your vehicles. Over here, there's steps, and you can walk up this elevated platform. And you can look at this green box. On the other side, there's no steps though, so you have to do parkour if you want to get up here. And down here, it looks like we have a 3D grate. I wonder if there's anything inside. Looks like there is. There's doubloons. Imagine if Blackbeard found this. That's insane. The secret hidden treasure of flatgrass. Shiver my timbers. There's a new game mode, Unicycle Frenzy. You have to ride your unicycle and you have to do this parkour course. It's very challenging. It's like a rage platformer almost. You're not going to be able to beat this on your first 25 tries. <laughs> Very difficult. If I press tab, I can see the controls. You lean the bike and you pedal with left and right click. When you pedal though, it leans your bike and how much you're leaning affects your jump. You can also customize your unicycle. Currently, whoa, <laughs> this camera's a little messed up. Currently there is one frame but there's two different wheels to choose from the large and the small wheel. And one seat, one pedal. But there's a ton of trails. This is insane. It doesn't actually preview the trails in here. I would have to ride my unicycle to find out what the trail looks like. This is a rainbow looking one. Interesting. This one's made out of fire. This is a electrical one. These are colored dots. Here's a pixel pattern, here's a pixel fire. This is water. It's like I'm riding my unicycle in the ocean. This one is shapes, very interesting. This is binary. So it's like you're a hacker man with ones and zeros. Here's coins, a lot of ancient doubloons. This is trash. So if you're into just polluting the environment, you can throw trash everywhere. This one's Miami. It's Miami colors. And this is the cloud trail. It's very interesting. This is the default trail. I believe this is from mini golf. 
There's currently three default maps for this game mode. This map is called Hop Stop. This map is called Pop Stop. And this map is Steps. It's very interesting. We have another game mode. This one is Voxel Test. It's a Voxel Test game mode. Oh, wow. There's grass on here now. This is cool. Oh, and there's collisions. This is actually so cool. I looked at this earlier and it was a lot more simple. So it looks like we can draw voxels and remove voxels. We can make any kind of shape we want and our voxels will have collisions. This is just a test game mode. So there's no gameplay for this. However, I can see a lot of functionality for this, especially because these voxels have collisions. You could use this to make something like Deep Rock Galactic, where you're in procedurally generated caves. This could also be used for unicycle frenzy. I can imagine this being very useful for quickly creating custom unicycle frenzy maps. This is already a, a trail, like a perfectly sized unicycle trail. And you can do a lot of complex shapes with it too. It's very interesting. For example, I can make a donut and a big snake. <laughs> this is revolutionary. Definitely the future of gaming. Wow. We also have new self-illuminated materials. Here we can see there is no light entity in this room. All the light is coming from this red material up here. In this preview, we can see a red, blue, and green ball, and they're all emitting lights. Again, there is no light entity here. All the light is coming from the materials. Here's another example. It's very interesting, very cool. I can see a lot of use cases for this. We also have a new major improvement to hammer the level editor. We have a new bevel tool. We can adjust the shape of our bevel and how many steps are in it and the width. This allows us to easily create smooth corners like this and adjust all the parameters on it. Also, there's a setting to enable smooth normals. This will make the corners look smooth. It doesn't look very good here, but if I was to compile this map and bake the lighting, these corners would look very smooth. However, they're actually just sharp edges. This is a very useful feature, and I'm glad it was added. Also, you may have noticed the tools are looking a little bit different. This is a new tools mode. It's a work in progress, and it's constantly changing almost every day. This is done in preparation so that we'll be able to make tools add-ons and things like hammer extensions. It'll be very interesting and open up a lot of new possibilities for creating content. The Jambox game mode making contest has started. The theme is winter. What a surprise. It started yesterday, the 16th, and it ends next week on December 23rd. Also, the prizes have been increased. Each tier has gotten $50 added to it. So now it's 150, 125, and $100 for first, second, and third place. That's it. Click the like button and subscribe.